I apologize for the noise. There's some concrete work going on in that direction. It's quite noisy. Um, so this video is a series of short clips just showing some of the camping sites at the Ricketts Glen State Park campground in Pennsylvania. And I did it because I'm a hammock camper and a lot of times campgrounds don't, when you call them and ask them, can I use a hammock, they, they really don't know if there's if you can use a hammock or not. They, they're not familiar, if they've never hung a hammock, they're not familiar with the kind of trees that are needed, the spacing and things like that. Um, at Ricketts Glen State Park, the woman that I spoke to was actually very helpful and pretty knowledgeable. And the site she picked for us was okay. Um, I really liked it in the fact that it was a little bit more secluded than some of the other sites. It had a lot more um, space between our site and the site next to it. Um, but we really couldn't hang two hammocks in the site, so we had to use our hammock stands. We could have hung our hammocks in the areas between the sites, because there were tree enough trees there to do that. Some campgrounds are okay with that, some are not. I don't know if Ricketts Glen State Park is okay with that, I didn't ask. But we've we've done that in parks where rangers were like, no, you have to stay in your site. And there were other parks that were like, hey, as long as your neighbors don't care, it's okay. So you'll have to check that out for yourself. But I, I, I've watched a couple of videos where people tried to do like, oh, this is what the sites are like, and they really didn't show the sites. They were just driving around the campground. So it's pretty awful. So I actually did this on my bike and I stopped before each site, told you what the site number was and kind of showed you the site a little bit and gave you my opinion. So hopefully this will help you pick a good site and it's of benefit to you and maybe you enjoy it. I don't know. Um, but yep. Oh, and I only did the small loop, which is the pet friendly loop. I did not even visit the large loop where pets are not allowed. So this is the small loop, Ricketts Glen State Park. Pennsylvania. Even have a place for washing dishes and there's soap and a sponge there. So awesome. So I'm going to try to do a little video review of some of the sites. This is site 81. I don't know what those site numbers are. I would never be interested in them because it's all wide open and in Pull sun, pull throughs for RVs. Here's site number 83. That's not bad. Put a hammock up there. Up there by those two trees. And got a little shady spot over here for hammock stand. Of course, we were in site number 86, which was good. Here's site number 88. Um, you could make it work. You have to put some hammocks back there in the woods. But uh, with the stands, it works good. But it's really, really close to the next one. You can see right straight in. So I might not like it. Site number 90. Again, it's a nice sight, but really close to the one that next to it. This is kind of a cool sight, but it's a lot of sun. Middle of the day, it's going to be all sun. I don't know what the sight number is around the other other side. It's a big sight, but wide open. I wouldn't like it. So that wide open one was 93. Right next to it we have, ouch, <laughs> 95, shady in the morning, sunny in the afternoon, big, big, big sight. Maybe some hammock possibilities in the back there. Site 96, it's okay, kind of open, no hammock possibilities, 
sunny during the day and right next to the bathroom. 97, right here, 97, is a nice sight. Pretty shady, but again, you're right next to the bathroom, which could be good or bad. Site number 98, which is right behind 86. Okay, but right across from the bathroom. Good or bad. 99 has some good possibilities. Possible hammock abilities. Big site. Some shade. Pretty good. Right on the corner, though. So this is site 76. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I use it if it's the only one available, but might get a little sun. Site number 78. Uh, I'd rather not. Looks like it might have a lot of sun. There's only like one little shady spot once the sun goes overhead. It's gonna be really sunny. So across the road, Site 79, 77 down the road are all electric sites for RVs, but if they weren't too expensive and they allowed a hammock, these would all be nice because the backs of them are just all wood and there's space in between each one. These would be nice. So that was 79, this is 77. This is 75 of these five little sites. 75 is my favorite. Coming up on 74. 74 would be an awesome one too. Can't see the trees behind it, but it would be awesome. This is site 101. It would be okay. A nice little area behind it. One or two. Uh, nice area of wood behind it, but once the sun gets to 12 o'clock mark, you're going to be in full sun all day, the rest of the day. Site 103, same thing. So 102, 103, and 101 down on the end there. 101 will be full sun all day long. Horrible, don't want it. So this is the first road coming into this section. This is 105. It's kind of neat because it's got like a little nook right there. Um, but it looks like it's not going to get a whole lot of shade in the middle of the day. This is 106 on that side. I wouldn't want it. This is 108. I wouldn't want it either, but Barry liked it, but I don't like it. This is 107 on this side. Um, I like it only because there's good hammock possibilities, and in the back, back there, there's a really cool little area that you could sit and hang out, and it's very secluded from all the sites around it. You can see you can't even see any of the other sites around it, which is really cool. That was number 107. 109 is a no. No, no, no. 111 is right there. That's a no, too. 110 right here. Um, might be okay, but it's really, really close to the one next to it, and so I wouldn't really want it. I don't want to record 112 because there's a big party going on, but it's okay. Really close to 110, but nice woods behind it. I won't, I won't do your license plates or nothing like that. Site 113, big no-no. Site 114 is pretty nice, big, lots of trees, good stuff. Site 115 looks pretty with all the pine and everything, but I would probably say no. Barry would probably like it, but I'd say no. Okay, Site 116. Um, yeah, pine trees. I'd probably do it. Wouldn't be my first choice, but I would do it. Okay, so Site 117 is pretty big and airy, a lot of sun, maybe one hammock. So this is site number 119. I didn't get a picture of this. Well, here's a picture of the site 119. 
It's really big. There's the bathrooms right behind you. There is... It's right next to that site by the bathroom that I said I wouldn't like. I guess you could get a couple of hammocks back there. Nice woods in between you and the next site. That might be okay. 118 view of the lake. Maybe a couple of hammocks in this little section of trees maybe, but I probably wouldn't. 120 view of the lake. And there are a lot of shade and there are what looks like maybe better hammocking possibilities. So there are some trees back there. But probably standees. So this is site 94. Um, I like all the pine. It's pretty shaded. View of the lake. It's a small site, but those trees back there. You might get a couple hammocks up. Um, but good for stands. This is site number 126. They've got two hammocks set up in the back in the trees off site. Uh, it's probably not good for tents or hammocks, but probably RV only. This is the that's the loop I said was all fun. I'm doing the last loop here. I don't know what site this is, but these all have huge concrete pads for um, setting up. Well, maybe it's not concrete. Maybe it's just gravel. They got two hammocks in the back. Let's see what site number this is. This is site 130. But these are really, these have full hookups. These aren't for hammocks. Some of them are expensive though. You definitely don't, do not want site 131. Blech. This is site number 134. You got big huge woods all behind you. You could probably put a hammock. And it comes with its own little pond. <laughs>